welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of my five part series called Mastering Self Love. And today we're gonna to be talking about knowing your worth then adding tags. I found on Pinterest a while ago and I've always loved it. It's always resonated with me, but until recently I haven't thought about that. But this was a very important topic on mastering self-love. Let's just get into it. How you love yourself will set the tone for how other people love you. If you act like this one person is the only person that loves you and you tell them, you can't leave me, like, I love you so much, like nobody's ever gonna love me like that. If you tell them that, that gives them so much power and they're like, oh yeah, I'm all they have and that's what they'll think. You have to make sure this person knows that you have options. That doesn't mean that you're texting all these guys and stuff, but if someone at the grocery store like hits on you, you need to make sure to tell them that. Just let this person know, hey, you know, I've got options in a very nonchalant, non-rude way. It's important that they know that. Learning to be assertive and saying no. When you first meet someone, you sit them down and you're like, oh yeah, these are my standards. But the longer you're with them, if you let them, they will kind of lower your standards and they will bring you down. So you need to be assertive and stay strong to your standards and your boundaries because that is very important and you never want to lose sight of those things or else you'll like forget the kind of love that you're actually seeking. You can respect other people's wishes while still respecting your own. There is a happy medium to both. With the right person, I feel like those needs will kind of be the same and you'll kind of have just a mutual respect for each other. With the saying no thing, like it's very important that you just say no when you're not comfortable doing something or when you don't want to do something because you'd rather do something else. Your needs are important too. I am just going to stop pouring into others' cups until mine is full. I saw this thing on TikTok the other day. It's like, I have this jar, okay? And some trauma happens in your life. She puts a glob of like, mud in there and you can like scoop it out with a spoon right but it's still gonna like be dirty you can scoop it out as much as you want to but it's not gonna get rid of it the only way to get rid of it is if you keep pouring clear water into yourself so you keep pouring in working out you keep pouring in bible study you keep pouring in working on yourself like your career and your dreams and all that stuff and eventually all the trauma will be gone it will be replaced with something new something fresh and something good i really loved that analogy so i just wanted to share next thing is appearance when you're in the gym when you know you've got a nice body you know you have good style and you know you're a pretty bitch you know your worth when you know your worth and you can honestly look at yourself in the mirror and love what you see both physically emotionally everything on the inside you can love yourself without anyone's assistance at that point you've got good self-esteem you've got great confidence you don't ever let anybody take that away from you you don't ever let anybody dim your light your net worth okay so this is where you want to subscribe because the next video is going to be all about money why i think that is such an important part to mastering self-love when you've got you emotionally when you can love yourself physically the only thing left for you to do is to support yourself financially i'm not a feminist but i will never depend on a man to pay my bills i'm my own sugar daddy okay <laughs> and when worse comes to worse like if they leave you or you leave them and you were dependent on them financially what are you gonna do go home to mommy and daddy no you need to support yourself you need to have a bag you need to have money tucked away in case shit hits the fan guys because this is life and you never know what it's gonna throw at you making yourself proud of what you achieve when you can make yourself proud and you're proud of the things that you're producing whether that's content or advice to people, whatever it is. When you're proud of yourself, you don't need anybody to tell you they're proud of you. I think something about this Mastering Self Love series is that there's five different love languages, right? Well, there's like physical touch where you can just hug yourself, words of affirmation, where you can look at yourself in the mirror and pour out these affirmations to yourself or maybe stick them up on the mirror with sticky notes. There's gift giving. You can spoil yourself. You can go buy yourself some nice new shoes or a cute new bag. There's quality time. You have to be able to spend time by yourself alone. That is something so important to mastering self-love. And I saw this thing. It's like you can appreciate being alone and you can love your alone time, when you actually hang out with people, it won't be like you're stealing from them or like you're using them. It will just be genuinely, oh, I wanna hang out with you, not just like, I need this. I'll put it up here because it makes more sense in the picture, but I love that so much. I think when you can love yourself in all five love languages, you have mastered self-love. And I think it's honestly something that you will never actually like fully master, but I think it's just the intentionality of it and trying to better love yourself that will make you master self-love. When you can look in the mirror and completely love everything about yourself, yeah, you'll have insecurities, but I mean, when you can look in the mirror 
Know that you're a good person. Know that you work hard for your shit. You know your worth. When your standards are high for how you treat yourself, your standards will be high for how you let other people treat you. You don't accept the bare minimum anymore because you don't accept the bare minimum with yourself. You don't let yourself slack off on work. You don't let yourself slack off in the gym. You don't accept the bare minimum because you give yourself queen treatment and you expect that to be reciprocated. You don't entertain people or ideas that are not in line with your future self and your future goals. Anything you entertain, you know how much that greatly affects your energy and where you're going in your life. And so you don't entertain anything that is not in line or on the path to you achieving your greatness. A massive part of mastering self-love is knowing your worth and then adding tax. Because we don't deserve anything less than that. I like talking about this stuff, how great you can be, your potential. I love talking about just self-love. It's something I'm so passionate about in my life right now, and I want to share that with you guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Also, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at audrey.plusinski, and make sure that you stick around for the next video because it's gonna be all about getting that bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, babes. Bye.